hello everyone uh, today we will be making our first project in SOA that will be addition of two numbers using BPL business process execution language uh, component of SOA so first we will create an application cause uh, inside an application we will be having our project so first you need to go to new and uh, here you will go to SOA application click ok whatever the name you want let's say learning we are giving it this will be the directory where your uh, application will be saved cj developer my work and learning so it will go to next now here will come the project name so let's say addition will be our project name so what is this here uh, basically we are creating the composite in SOA we have too many components like vpl human task sub process spring so empty composite means one composite will be created without any component in that so let's click on finish it will take some time it's a uh, very slow tool actually so as you can see this is our composite so right now this was our project name addition and this is our application name learning so inside addition you can see some folder folders will be automatically created like SOA inside this we having a schema visual visual is a web service description language and here are the components so see before creating the project what we are doing is we are adding two numbers so for adding two numbers first we need the input and then we need the output so for input and output we must be having variables like in other another programming languages so in SOA for creating the input and output we will go for schema okay so how to create the schema just right click on it go to new and uh, go to from gallery here in the general you will find xml cause it will be a xml schema basically schema is a xml file nothing much so if you click on ok here is the your schema name so let's say add dot xsd okay and uh, this is your location where it will be saved and we'll press ok so this will be created see add dot xsd is created you can delete it this is example element and in this manner only we'll be adding some elements so let's delete this first if we go to the source file this is your source file see this is xsd okay and uh, this is your designing window so you can either design or you can either write the code i'll go through both the manners okay so first uh, let's say we need a input type okay so we'll be uh, needing two inputs one input will be let's say number one and another input let's say number two and both number one and number two should be inside a input variable okay so for that we will be creating a variable of uh, complex type or you can say we are defining a data type okay so let's say xsd okay it is complex type as you can see it will go you give you some suggestions also and what is the name so name let's say first we are creating as in okay So now what we are doing is uh, we are uh, creating a data type of uh, complex type okay so inside this uh, we will be having sequence sorry it will be xsd sequence inside this as I already told you that uh, we will be having two elements uh, first will be your num1 another will be your num2 so let's say xsd xsd element okay what's the name see it's giving you suggestions also name will be like let's say num1 what is the type type will be let's say your xsd integer it's giving you all the suggestions as you can see and here we are closing the tab okay now our next element 
name let's say your number two and type again let's say integer type only so it will be xsd integer sorry oh it's not giving suggestion this time okay no problem okay so this xsd sequence uh, tab you need to close right now it's done and uh, again it's your complex type so basically we are defined a data type which is of complex type now we will create an element of input type okay or you can say your variable so what we will do is xsd okay this will be your element okay name will be complete sorry name will be your input and what's the type type is actually we have already defined a mm, complex type which is in so here we will give in see the very first one is coming as in okay so in this manner we have defined our very first element okay which uh, having the name as input and having the type as in this in type we have defined here this is the complex data type so now if you go to the design window you can see it see first is in is created this is the derived data type okay it was having num1 and num2 then we created an input element which is of this in type okay it's done now the same thing we will be doing through design window by drag and drop okay so here you can see we have complex type right so go to the complex type and drag it here so it will come now double click this we will be creating as of out okay and uh, i told you about sequence right this is the sequence here drag and drop your sequence now there will be two elements let's say first element you need to drag and drop here only otherwise it will not work and one more element so let's say the name of this element will be your result what is the result we are getting after adding two numbers and this one let's say a comment that uh, our addition is successful now here we need to give the type what kind of type this result is so right click here will be set type so here if you will write xsd integer it will come again here right click go to set type this will be of let's say string so it came just click done now this is just your defining of data type okay derived data type now you will be creating an element which is of this data type so for this go to the element as i told you drag and drop it here okay what will be the name name will be your output what will be the type just right click set type okay if you will click here the very first one is second one is out right so just click out it will automatically take it see this is of out type having a result and comment now if you go to the source window see same thing has happened first it has created a complex type sequence the first element second element sequence type closed complex type closed and then they created an element name as output and saved as output type so this is your creation of schema file okay that is add.xsd so here we need to save our work first so just click on save and save all so now you can close this window our xsd is already saved you can see in the schema folder so now close it now this is our composite so here uh, now we will uh, decide that how the two numbers will be adding and how we will be getting the result so for that we will drag a bpl that is uh, a component in sua so this is the name of your bpl let's say add only oh sorry Oh, not working let's say bad only okay now 
in the template as you can see there are uh, three four five kind of templates so i'll tell you what is synchronous and asynchronous in synchronous people process uh, what will happen is the client will wait for the output like uh, once you are giving the input on the same port you will be getting the output also but in the asynchronous you will not be waiting for the output on the same time this process i will tell you later so as per now i am selecting let's say uh, synchronous people that we will be getting the output on the same time now for this people what is the input and output uh, we have already defined our xsd right so we can choose the input and output now so just click on search go to the project schema files see this is our schema file right add.xsd it is coming here just click select your input and press ok here again just search click output ok then i am pressing ok so this is our people see only one port is coming process right if it is of uh, your asynchronous then there will be two port and the second port will also come here only ok so the second port name will be process response right now only process is there so now we will go to the designing window of people so just double click on this people so this is the c bad one dot people this is the designer window of our people okay so now this is our input this is output now here we need to do something so that input our input was like num1 and num2 so that num1 plus num2 should come to your output so here we'll be uh, using the activities so as you can see basic activities we have so let's use assign activity just drag and drop to the plus sign only then it will work now double click your assign now as you can see we have input variables on this side okay this is our variable only num1 num2 and here if you go you will get the output variable right this is your result and comment okay so what we want is num1 plus num2 should come to the result so we are having a expression builder here this is the expression builder see just click it and drag to the result okay now what we want in the result we want this num1 just click on this insert into expression plus so for plus click here you will be getting mathematical functions just click on add and add what add move it to expression now your num2 insert into expression so this is what we want at the position of result right so just click on ok so this is done in the comment section i told you what i want is uh, addition is successful let's say so just uh, drag and drop this expression to the comment ok here you need to write the expression that uh, addition is done ok so press ok see one expression is there and your input uh, num1 plus num2 is coming to your result so just apply and ok so now what we need to do is it's done basically we can save this activity so yes it will be building right now so after build we can deploy see all the validation are done all validation check passed ok so now what you need to do is you need to deploy your uh, composite see one thing is uh, first you need to run your weblogic server for that just go to the run and click this start server instance integrated weblogic server in my case it is already running so i'll be directly deploying it okay so just right click on it go to deploy addition it was your project name deploy to the application server click next uh, this is your revision id uh, that means uh, let's suppose one project is already there with the name as addition only and now you want uh, some changes and uh, you want to deploy that also but you don't want to delete your previous project so just what you can do is give the new revision id so your old project will also be there with the previous revision id and uh, this project will also be there with the new revision id so just next and uh, i think there is already one project with the same name and same revision id so i'm changing it to two click on next and uh, next here it will be searching for servers see it's already running in my case so just next and finish 
So here deployment will start as you can see in the screen, deploying addition to integrated biologic server. If you go to the deployment, see deployment is finished. So now we can check it. How to check it? Just uh, run any of the web browser and go to the EM. What is EM and all? I'll let you know in the next uh, video session. EM is basically enterprise manager. It is for your uh, web logic server. So we have deployed our project. If you go to SOA, SOA infra default, here you can see addition 1.0, addition 2.0. So addition 2.0 is what we have deployed right now. So you will go to this screen here. You go to the test. Okay. Come down. You will find your payload. Payload is basically your uh, input and output. So num1 let's say 3, num2 let's say 2 and test your web service. As you can see result is 5, comment is addition is done. So this is how you can create a simple web service or project for addition of two numbers. Okay, thank you so much for watching this video.